What is up guys? Lincoln here and this is Dread Captures. Thank you for joining me for another episode. Happy spring break to everyone. Happy Easter. We've put together an awesome video for you this week. I hope you enjoy it. As always, please like, subscribe, share with a friend. I'll see you in the comments. In this clip, we've got another weird sighting, but this time it's caught on a thermal camera deep in the woods. Like most videos, this person says it was shot way out in the middle of the forest at night. Definitely not where you'd expect to run into anyone for sure. The footage shows something huge, moving in a way that doesn't quite look human. I mean, it's massive, it's way bigger than a person. And I'll admit it doesn't move like any regular person would. You can see it kind of swinging its arms as it goes. Some folks thought it might be a monkey just out for a walk, but this was taken in the United States and we don't have monkeys just hanging out in the forests. So what gives? Is someone pulling our leg? Or is there something out there that we just don't know about yet? I will say this, it's super cool to have this type of equipment to be able to capture things like this if this is real. And I feel like we would capture more. Maybe if these thermal imaging cameras and video recorders were more accessible or more popular. I don't know, it'd be really cool to see what's out there. Like night vision goggles too. I'm all in. While on vacation, a man received an unexpected alert from his home security system, informing him of detected movement inside his house. Upon moving in, due to peculiar sounds throughout his residence, such as unexplained footsteps, floorboards creaking, and objects moving locations, he had set up several cameras around his property. After he got the alert, he was blown away after he viewed the footage on his phone. Considering he lived alone with no pets, roommates, or any house sitters that would be there on his time abroad. Watch closely as we can see someone, or something, begin to peek around the doorway near the lamp. Commenters have had some really good responses. Some have said that he has a demon at his house, not a ghost. Others comment on how brave he is. The ones that caught my attention pointed out that the thing peeked around the corner like it knew the camera was there. And also they asked, why would a ghost or evil being sneak around a home if nobody is there? All good questions if you ask me. Let me know what you think. Wild video here as we see this sleeping hawk interrupted by a pigeon. And for those that don't see the wild part about that, well, hawks usually eat these guys. As we can see, things take a turn quickly. She starts plucking his feathers out, and I think the pigeon realizes that this was a bad idea. Mama Hawk snatches him up as he tries to get away, even manages to snatch a few feathers out with her beak. The pigeon is eventually able to break away, but Mama gives chase and this could end very badly. Luckily, she returns to tend to her eggs without the pigeon in her clutches. If you've watched Dread Captures for a little bit of time now, you've probably heard me complain about how scared I am of little kids well, creepy little kids. I love normal little kids, but creepy ones scare the ring. No. So this next video, specifically the kid clip, creeps me out. Check this out. Okay. Here's the recent video that has been spreading like wildfire across TikTok. Comments and questions are from all over the place. So a man is startled by an unusual thumping noise coming from his kitchen. He goes to investigate, and as he gets closer, he sees the source of the noise. Two small hands, seemingly belonging to a child, are hitting and slapping the glass of his sliding door. Only the pale hands are visible as he gets close, and when he flips off the backyard lights, the pounding persists, yet the hands vanish into thin air. What are you? Stop! 
In a turn of events, as soon as he slides the door open, the noise quits completely. His dog rushes out, barking and snarling, sensing that something isn't quite right. After the man steps back inside and closes the door, he starts to walk away, only for the thumping to abruptly resume. But there's more. In another video that's been making rounds on the internet, a different user captures what seems to be the hand of a child banging on a window from the inside of his apartment. A child's laughter can be heard, accompanying the banging against the window. However, when he rounds the corner to enter the room, it's empty. He even lifts the blinds to reveal there's absolutely no one there but himself. So I ask you, what is your take on these unnerving events? Could we be witnessing something supernatural? A cross from the other side? Or is it all just clever video manipulation? The, the notion of a child's hand pounding on my window late at night, I'm out. Only to disappear without a trace, I'm out. I'm out, no way. It's, that's enough to send shivers down anyone's spine. Okay, so this still pick was sent in. It's really cool. It came with an email. I'm going to read it to you guys. In 2006, while residing in a second floor apartment of a centennial house, I encountered a peculiar and unsettling event. Living alone at the time, I had set up a rudimentary security system using a cheap digital camera connected to my computer. The camera was somewhat concealed, but programmed to capture an image every minute while I was at work. One day upon reviewing the time-lapse photos, I stumbled upon a grainy picture that sent shivers down my spine. It showed the silhouette of a man entering my apartment, a figure I did not recognize and was certainly not my landlord. The image was hauntingly clear, yet it captured a moment that seemed suspended in time. As you'll see in the picture, the man's posture suggested a cautious entry, as if he was aware of his surroundings, yet nothing in my apartment was disturbed, stolen, or even out of place. All doors and windows were locked and intact, leaving no trace of forced entry or exit. What truly unnerved me was the realization that this was the only photo captured of the intruder. The camera, despite being set to take a picture every minute, had only recorded this single eerie snapshot. It was as if the man knew he was being watched, for he appeared to be looking directly at the computer desk where the camera was hidden, at the exact moment the photo was taken. The mystery of the man's presence in my apartment remains unsolved to this day. It continues to haunt me with questions of who he was, what he wanted, and how he entered and left my apartment without a trace. Thank you, and let me know if you have any ideas on what could have happened. This next cool video was found by a man with a backhoe digging a trench. As you can see, these turtles are stacked upon themselves. They have a fascinating behavior of burying themselves underground, and it serves multiple purposes. Primarily, it's a way for them to regulate their body temperature. The soil acts as a natural insulator against extreme weather. It provides coolness in the heat and warmth during the cold. In the colder months, many turtle species enter brumation, akin to hibernation, to conserve energy when food resources are low. They burrow into the mud or soil, slowing their metabolism to survive the winter. It also doesn't hurt that the underground refuge provides protection from predators as well. Another intriguing behavior is the stacking. And while this looks different, and we have all seen the tendency of turtles to stack on top of each other while basking in the sun, this is a little different. Basking spots can sometimes be scarce, leading to the stacking behavior. And many of them are just trying to make the most out of a prime sunny spot. On the other hand, if turtles are found stacked while buried, it may be due to limited space in an ideal hibernation location, indicating a high population density. And to be honest, experts say this stacking while buried is not a widespread behavior and really probably only occurs under specific environmental conditions. But that's what makes the video even more unique. I thought it was super cool.
The CCTV footage we're talking about here was captured on a rainy night in December, and it's been buzzing all over Reddit. The video shows what looks like an empty backyard, but here's the catch. The home security system sprang to life automatically when it sent some kind of movement. Now, right smack in the middle of that yard, a misty figure appears. It seems to walk, well, almost drift toward the right side of the video screen. People who've watched this footage are pointing out that this mysterious figure looks like it's hunched over. Kinda creepy, right? The person who uploaded the video said they're pretty much in the dark about any historical background of the property, which makes sense because they just recently became the new homeowners. Now, there are some viewers who have a more practical take on this. They are suggesting that maybe what we're all seeing isn't ghostly at all. It could just be a spider crawling across the camera lens, which would definitely throw things off. But for now, it's all guesswork. We're all in the same boat, waiting for the uploader to hit us with another update. Or better yet, maybe another piece of unsettling footage. I'll keep you posted if it comes out. Captured within the walls of a local church in 2008, a photograph has piqued the interest of both congregants and paranormal enthusiasts alike. The image, seemingly ordinary at first glance I'll say, revealed upon closer examination a peculiar anomaly. A figure that wasn't visible to those present at the time the picture was taken. Described as mist-like and spectral, the figure stands at the back of the room and it kind of has a soft glow to it, which raises questions and eyebrows even more so. It just stands there, solemnly behind the seated congregation, unnoticed by the naked eye, but forever imprinted on this digital camera. The intriguing snapshot has stirred a conversation about the intersection of faith and the supernatural, and the afterlife. Debates have ensued on whether the figure represents an angelic presence, a departed soul lingering, or if it's just simply some manipulation. Nonetheless, the image remains a captivating mystery. This is a very creepy photo. Captured in this old family photograph is a moment frozen in time. The picture reveals a family seated together. The father, donning a plaid shirt, holds a young child barely old enough to pay attention to what's going on. Next to him is his wife nestled close holding one of her sons and another child nearby. But that's not really who we're focused on in this picture. Amidst the normalcy of this family portrait lies an anomaly. A mysterious, unidentifiable face in the middle of the family. The face, which is definitely out of place, adds an eerie touch to this photo. Some think it's an accidental double exposure, common in the early days of photography for sure, while others think it's something else entirely. I will say, this face creates a stark contrast to the clarity of the other people. It's in the middle of the pic, but it's blurry, especially against the sharply defined features of the family members. Many think it's a ghost or an uninvited guest that's decided to make an appearance. Others think it could be a more sinister side, Maybe this man, seeing as he's positioned between the husband and the wife, came between their marriage. Maybe the husband disposed of him, or maybe the husband never knew of him. All intriguing things to think about. It's pretty crazy, because this photograph was intended to preserve the unity of the family, but it captured something different instead. The man that uploaded it was the great-grandson of these two. And as far as he knew, no one knew who the person was in the picture. So what do you guys say? What do you think? Is this double exposure or something more supernatural? This next picture and story is pretty cool. Check this out. The man writes, I pulled up some carpet at the apartment I grew up in Queens, New York, because I knew there was perfectly good wood floor underneath it. After putting the room back together, I noticed a dark stain that kind of looked like a body. Almost like a body was left there for a long time and stained the floor, so I snapped this picture. Sorry for the quality. It was taken 2008-ish on a Blackberry Bold. 
The white object is what is strange or unexplained about the pick, not the stain. This unexpected detail was unexplained. In the picture, this is not cigarette smoke or steam, something else. At least something that defied a simple explanation. To me, it's almost supernatural in nature. My photo meant to document a home renovation. Now I have what I think could be a blood stain and a white ethereal wisp captured in a single picture. Does anyone have any idea what these things could be? Man, I don't know what that could be. I I don't actually see, I see the red stain. I don't know that I could see where the body would be. Maybe someone can point it out to me. I definitely see the stain though. And obviously I see the white thing in the middle of the picture, but I don't know. I just don't know enough about photography. I feel like that could be anything. What do you guys think? Check this out. Hawks, known for their incredible hunting prowess, can dive at astonishing speeds when targeting prey. They have been recorded reaching speeds of up to 150 miles per hour during these dive bombing attacks. This swift strategic maneuver, also known as a stoop, is employed for a couple of reasons. Firstly, it allows the hawk to catch its prey by surprise, leaving little opportunity for escape. Secondly, the sheer speed and force of the dive help the hawk to deliver a powerful and often fatal blow to the target. This method is a testament to the hawk's role as an adept predator in the wild, utilizing speed, precision, and power to sustain itself. I've always loved these hawk and falcon videos of them dive bombing. Well, there's a really cool one online where this hawk just flies down, hits this duck who's just sitting there, snaps its neck, which is why we can't show it on here because everyone would freak out. But it's just really cool that that is a tactic. Like it comes so far and fast from out of the sky and just clips it. And that sounded less creepy in my head. Yeah. Pretty wild video here. Maybe even some nightmare fuel for people that don't like snakes. Snakes are remarkable for their resilience and capability to exhibit movement even after decapitation. Their bodies can persist in showing reflexive actions due to a decentralized nervous system, unlike many other animals. This means certain reflexes are managed by the spinal cord without the brain's involvement. And also, a snake's metabolic rate is slower than that of certain mammals, so they have the cellular activity to continue briefly even without a central blood supply. Of course, witnessing such movements can be unsettling, but it's an instinctive defense mechanism, honed over years and years to deter predators even after a fatal blow. What you really need to look out for, though, is a decapitated snake's head can still deliver venom. The reflex to bite is largely automatic. So, if you cut a venomous snake's head off, be sure to get rid of it so nobody steps on it. Don't put it on a stick and start to play with it or pick it up. Sounds like something I would do back in the day. Don't do that. The star of our first video clip is quite the character. Standing at only 22 inches high, this is the Vietnamese mouse deer, thought to have been extinct for years. Here is a trail cam video of him. The fanged mouse deer, or Vietnamese mouse deer, is a fascinating creature. This animal is much smaller than typical deer species and is found only in Vietnam. Since mouse deer are so small, they are able to avoid being seen by predators. These mouse deer are very elusive. They have actually been able to avoid being seen for three decades. Beginning in the latter part of the 20th century, reports of sightings of mouse deer gradually dwindled and then stopped altogether after a period of a few years. Following decades of decreasing numbers, experts had concluded that this extinct species of deer had finally died out. So you can imagine their shock when a hiker claimed to have seen a mouse deer-like animal. Authorities were initially skeptical, but after setting up several trail cams in the area of the sightings, they were able to capture images of this incredible creature. Hours and hours of footage as well as hundreds of still images were captured by trail cameras showing a solitary mouse deer foraging for food and keeping a wary eye out for any danger. Fast forward to today, researchers are trying to get a count of wild mouse deer and figure out what they can do to restore their population.
A man by the name of Alex from New South Wales, Australia caught something absolutely terrifying on his trail camera. The camera was mounted in a very remote area of the woods behind his house. He would occasionally pass this spot when he would take a walk to clear his mind. He said, however, that every time he walked past this spot, he got a weird feeling. It would get really quiet. All wildlife noises would stop. He thought he was entering some sort of vortex or a gateway somewhere. He decided to put up a trail camera. For weeks, the camera didn't catch anything. No creatures, no people, no animals, nothing. That all changed one night as he was combing through footage and this horrifying image popped up. The footage is pretty unsettling. You can see the creature's glowing dead eyes. Glowing eyes are not generally a characteristic of humans. And you can see the head of an odd humanoid alien looking creature looking directly into the camera. Many nocturnal animals such as raccoons and coyotes have glowing eyes, but not generally humans. I'd say this demonstrates that this creature is not human. Some people say the creature resembles a skinwalker. It looks paranormal to me. What do you guys think about this creature? This next video is pretty crazy. Environmentalists immediately started looking for the elk known as the elk with the tire around his neck after his discovery was first reported in 2019. This elk would occasionally appear on trail cameras, including this one used by hunters. So much so that it took them two years to pinpoint the elk's exact location. When they finally succeeded in doing so, they used a tranquilizer dart to take down the elk. They needed him down long enough to remove the tire from his neck. Unfortunately, the elk's antlers had to be removed as part of this task, which probably came as quite a shock to him when he woke up. Fortunately, elk grow new antlers every spring, so he wouldn't be without them for too long. Very cool video. For our next clip, we're heading back to the Appalachian Mountains. An uploader was asking for help identifying some gruesome screaming they heard. They explained that they don't have any neighbors and there are no native animals that would make this sound. Here's the sound captured by the trail camera in their barn. Insane if you ask me. Does anyone have any idea what this could be? The following clip was taken by a TikTok user in the UK. It shows the uploader's cat engaged in a tense standoff with a fox, which he claims was attempting to steal an egg from their garden. This particular cat is not going to give up that egg without a fight though. Despite the fact that the vast majority of cats would never risk going up against an adult fox, this one doesn't seem to care. The cat eventually gets the fox to back down with a series of hisses and stern meows before chasing it off. If you haven't noticed by now, take a look at this courageous cat. He's missing a front leg, which makes his victory over the fox all the more impressive. This cat is not one to be messed with. Okay everyone, since I botched the last hidden lion video so badly, I apologize, here's another one. As you can see in the picture, there are two lions lazily laying by this little creek bed. Can you find the third one? Okay, I'll give you a hint. The two male lions are laying down. The female is hidden. Okay, she is hidden right over here. A stealthy little lady. Honestly, she's probably just trying to get away from the guys. There are literally hundreds of thousands of purported Bigfoot sightings each year in the United States of America alone, but only a shockingly small percentage of them have been caught on trail cameras. As we see here in the upper right corner, we can make out what appears to be a hairy bipedal creature leaving the clearing. You can see the back of the animal heading off into the thicker part of the woods. What makes this picture more believable is how the deer is reacting to him. The deer was calmly checking out the trail camera, but is clearly scared of the strangely large animal behind him and looks to be keeping a close eye on it to protect itself from a surprise attack. I'll leave this one up to you guys. Is this real? Is this just a bear? Or is it another Bigfoot hoax? This next clip proves how amazing cats are. As you can see, a toddler and a cat are just hanging out together. 
The toddler beelines for the steps, but the cat is not having it. Not on my watch, he says, and pushes the boy back to safety. Another angle shows the cat watching the boy intently as he crawls away. The cat is aware of the danger of those steps. The boy even pauses and looks back at the cat. And boom, he's off to save the day. Just an amazing clip. A creepy surveillance video showed this creature walking down a dark road. The video quality is pretty poor, but you can make out a crab-like creature. What is this thing? What makes it most believable to me is the dog's reaction. Coming up. He glances at it and then gets out of the way. I have very little info on this video, so if you know more, let me know in the comments, please. These next short clips are a little different, but part of a really cool series released on Instagram by a channel called The Dark Side of Nature. Check these out and let me know what you think in the comments. The Stygian Owl, also known as the Devil's Owl, is mostly found in Mexico and parts of Central and South America. At first glance, he looks to be a pretty normal owl. He is standard size and has a conventional color, but this guy has one very distinct feature. As you can see here, the owl's eyes are yellow. However, that can change very quickly. These ominous looking birds have reflective discs that gives their eyes a bright red appearance when exposed to daylight which makes them extremely creepy. They have even been confused with Mothman, the cryptid that terrorizes the night sky with its piercing red eyes. Despite their outward appearance, however, these owls do not hold any special powers or pose any threats to humans, but really cool to look at. In July of this year, a man named Douglas Windsor, a Kentucky native, took to Facebook to share some spine-tingling footage that he shot. This was captured on a surveillance camera set up outside his home. Douglas explains that one evening he was checking his security cameras and was astounded to see a gaunt, glowing humanoid figure stalking his front yard. I'd say that was a pretty accurate description, hunched over and moving slowly across the man's yard, with his back bowed and his arms stretched slightly outwards, eager to seize the first victim it comes across. When mainstream news reported this, it didn't take long for other Kentucky residents to take notice. They started sharing their encounters with comparable creatures. According to one Twitter user, they'd seen a pale humanoid figure running across their neighbor's lawn. Another mentioned something about a creature disappearing into the forest. No one has been able to identify what is on camera. In this clip, we've stumbled on two cats enjoying a romantic night under the stars. Caretakers explain that it didn't take long for these two to become acquainted. They have a very unique bond and now they're inseparable. Coyote love deer, and any time a pack of coyotes can track one down, they're going to try their best to take him down. A trail cam video captured in June of 2021 shows a standoff between a pack of coyotes and a deer. As you can see, the deer is bounding through the high grass while the coyotes are trying to corral her for an easy takedown. The original uploader didn't mention this, but if you look closely, in a brief moment, you can see that the deer has a fawn with her. You only see the baby once, but knowing what we all know about mothers, it is very safe to say that the mama is more worried about her young escaping. I suspect that this is why we are seeing the doe and the coyotes run in what seems to be circles. I think the baby is somewhere behind the scenes, out of camera view, trying to evade the coyotes. 
and the mother is either running interference as a distraction or trying to keep herself in between the coyotes and her young. Let me know if anyone has seen anything like this on their land or other places. Captured a few days before Christmas in 2010, a group of mountain lions are congregating around a kill. This wouldn't be odd if these were African lions as they tend to work together, but mountain lions are solitary animals, traveling alone except during mating season or when a female is supporting young. So I wonder what's going on here. Now I'm sure if a kill takes place by one lion, it draws quite a bit of attention from any animals, especially predators in the area. Mountain lions can be seen at any time of the day or night, but are most active at dawn and dusk, corresponding with deer activity. Seeing as lions are carnivores and, again, eat primarily deer, I'd be interested in knowing what they are eating in this picture. I can't quite make out what it is. It looks like it has dark fur, perhaps a cow from a nearby farm. Or maybe we're blocked out from the prey and can't even see it. Here's another angle of the picture. Very strange for them to be together, but perhaps food brings predators together much like it does humans. If you look closely and count, you can make out eight mountain lions in total. A wildlife expert commented on the original uploader's photo and said this has to be a composite picture, which means that two or more photos were combined to create one. The expert says he has extensive experience in big cat behavior and this species is as described above a solitary apex predator that hunts alone using ambush techniques. If you guys have ever seen anything like this, I'd be interested in any information you have on it. This photo was taken in October of 2011. A man was checking his trail cameras on his property, and when he pulled up the footage, this is what he saw. A man just standing there on his property. He definitely has the look of not having much of a purpose for being there. But the trail cam owner says the strangest part is that he has cameras on the entrances and exits to this part of the property. And this man wasn't captured on any of the other cameras. Sure, I guess he could have come through the woods and been out of sight. But according to the owner, it is very thick and would have been tough to travel. Especially if he's shirtless, which it kind of looks like he might be in this photo. Assuming he's not, others that have seen the photo and knew he was only captured on this camera suggest he might be a time traveler. That he looks similar to a gold prospector from years past. The band around his head does look similar to a headlamp. Let me know what you guys think about this photo or if you have any information. If he indeed is a time traveler, I bet he's bummed he ended up in a random part of the woods. This next story clip is an absolutely phenomenal one. This is a video of Casper the Sheepdog. Casper is a 20-month-old Great Pyrenees who is responsible for a flock of sheep in Decatur, Georgia. One day, a pack of coyotes showed up, and they were kind of sniffing around the pen, trying to get at Casper's sheep, if they saw an opportunity. John, Casper's owner, explained that the pack of coyotes just randomly showed up, and they were kind of doing what coyotes do. They run away, kind of taunt you, but eventually leave with any act of pushback. They eventually retreated. Around 3 p.m. the same day, John heard a bunch of commotion in his backyard. He came out to see Casper and the other sheepdog named Daisy with their sheep pinned in the corner. The coyotes had returned for round two. John says that about half of the coyotes had made it into the pen while the others waited outside. Casper moved front and center now as the coyotes tried to push closer. The owner noted that the coyotes didn't act the way they did the first go around. They weren't responding to the man's yells. They weren't scared this time. They were honed in on those sheep. As the coyotes advanced towards his flock, no quicker than you could blink, Casper took off into the middle of the pack of coyotes. Some scrambled to get out of the pen, while the others that stayed to fight with Casper eventually met their demise. Casper killed a few coyotes right there in the pen. Casper jumped out of the pen and killed a few more that wouldn't back down. After that, Casper took off for the rest of the pack. And what ensued was a battle lasting roughly half an hour. John finally went back to his house to get his weapon because neither Casper nor the coyote pack were backing down. He said they fought and fought and fought up and down the creek on the back of their property. John was trying to call Casper off the coyotes because he could see that Casper had a few injuries, understandably but Casper was locked in. 
Eventually, the coyotes started to lose ground, probably figuring that there was an easier meal to be had somewhere else. But when they took off, Casper went after them. John followed as well as he could, but he eventually lost Casper and the coyote pack. As the day turned into night, John and his family didn't really know what to think or do. Casper was a family dog as much as he was a dog on the job. The next day, they put out a Facebook post and neighbors came and helped the family look. As the group followed the blood trail, one dead coyote, then another, then another, they found pieces of Casper's tail along the way. So they knew, after all this, he was in rough shape. John says he figured they'd find him dead, honestly. And this was more of a recovery mission than a rescue mission, seeing as what he was up against. But unfortunately, despite their efforts, they still couldn't find Casper. Two days later, John happened to be in his backyard, and he caught something out of the corner of his eye by the chicken coop. I'll be damned. It was Casper. Casper stuck his head out of the chicken coop as John went over to him. He said Casper kind of looked at him like, Look man, I know I look bad, but I feel worse and I need some help. John took him in and he and his daughter cleaned Casper up. He had some deep wounds that would most definitely need veterinarian attention, but he was alive. Casper was able to bounce back and make a full recovery and is undoubtedly one loyal and heroic dog. A wildlife specialist commented that dogs rarely prevail like Casper did, and packs of coyotes attacking people's pets have grown somewhat common in rural and growing suburban areas throughout the United States. Anyhow, in the description below, I'll attach the video of Casper's owner, John, talking about the incident. In classical antiquity, the Minotaur was represented as having the head and tail of a bull and the body of a man. It's also very popular in the role-playing game Dungeons & Dragons. So looking at this picture, I'm really trying to get a gauge on what I'm looking at. My eyes see a big bipedal beast that looks like a gorilla or Bigfoot. But man, I am thrown off by the horns on its head. His arms look oddly human as well, but you can see the ram's horns as plain as day. What in the world could this thing be? Is this real? This has to be a hoax a person in a costume or something. I don't know. I will say this. If I ran into this creature in the woods, unarmed, I'd be going the other way. <laughs> Doug Teague, a Hickory, North Carolina resident, and his dog Crazy Daisy claimed to have footage of a real life Sasquatch. Cell phone footage shows a dark figure through the trees. This video was taken in McDowell County where several people have reported seeing the creature over the years. And this guy really seems to believe in Bigfoot. Ironically, the day of the encounter, Doug and Daisy were headed to get the footage from trail cameras he had currently set up. Cameras he was hoping would help him catch a glimpse of the elusive Sasquatch. T goes on to explain that as they were walking, they heard some rustling in the leaves, and then a rock was thrown in their direction. He grabs his cell phone and starts recording not one, but three total creatures up on a small hill. This is just a small snippet of the 10 minute video he took. Interviewed by news reporters, Teague describes being giddy like a school child when he saw them. I know the video has been around for a little while, but let me know what you guys think of this footage. Doug clearly is infatuated with Bigfoot, so that makes me a tad bit skeptical. However, if what he caught on camera is genuine, it doesn't seem like it could have happened to a bigger believer. So good on you, Doug. I've posted more than a few mountain lion clips on this channel because, well, they amaze me. They're big, stealthy, mysterious ambush predators. This next picture shows just how close this mountain lion was able to get to this deer while remaining undetected. Deer are highly sensitive to their surroundings and you might even describe them as skittish. Experts say a deer can smell a human like humans can smell a skunk. So it's very surprising that this mountain lion was able to get so close to this deer and that the deer didn't hear the lion's footsteps behind him as he was stalked. Do you think the wind or the wilderness smell of the cougar masked the predator's scent? I guess the cougar could have been bedded down and lying in wait and the deer just walked by. 
Nevertheless, the owner found a great place to put a trail camera to capture this. This next photo goes along with the last one that we just talked about. It shows the exact way mountain lions like to hunt. Here, a hunter has set up a trail camera in an area with lots of deer activity. And at first glance, it looks like the lion has grabbed one and is in for quite a treat. Unfortunately for the lion, this is a fake deer. The hunter had probably set up the trail camera to scout out any potential deer activity on his property or just for target practice. Great footage for us to look at, but the lion left empty handed that night. Also, does anyone have any idea what that is hanging over the deer's head? This next camera capture is absolutely amazing. Check this out. So, in 2019, Sardar Benici, a Turkish shop owner, is seen walking down the road in front of his store. The footage was taken by his security camera on top of his store. As the video plays, nothing too out of the ordinary happens. A man goes past him and taps him on his shoulder. As Sardar searches for the person who touched him, Sardar notices that the vehicle is getting too close for comfort. And all of a sudden, seemingly out of nowhere, a huge metal gate swings open just in front of him, inches from his face. If it had hit him, he would have been severely injured or worse. As the video shows, the store owner is clearly taken aback by the close call. He looks around, apparently looking for the mysterious man, but he's nowhere to be found. The video was picked up by local TV stations, and a reporter tracks Sadar down. And he said that the truck's driver called and apologized for what had happened. The video, which recently resurfaced on Reddit, never fails to amaze people. As far as an explanation goes, none appears to exist. I think it's amazing. I'd be interested in knowing what everyone thinks happened here. A disaster was averted. Was this divine intervention? Was there actually a man? For being massive, powerful, scary predators sitting on the top rung of the food chain, bears are surprisingly agile as you'll see in this next video. After spotting the carcass of a huge bird hanging from a rope, the bear decides to scale the side of this tree. Being an excellent climber, he climbed right up the tree with no problem. But things got a bit tricky when he had to cross the string to reach his final destination. The bear held the rope with his teeth and front legs, with the rest of its body just dangling in the air. Quite an exhibition of upper body strength. He's got his eye on the prize, and as soon as he's about to grab the meal, he slips back down to the ground. I imagine he'll take a little break before he attempts that again. The good news for him is that I don't think anyone is going to come along and try to get in between a bear and his food. This fairy, straight out of the movie Peter Pan, decided to perplex its fans when it emerged in a trail cam floating over a building in the dead of night. The fairy can be seen flying up the building and away into the sky. It appears to be quite realistic. If you ask me, she looks a lot like Tinkerbell. Slowing down the video and examining its size, some people believe the fairy is actually a Luna moth. The American moon moth is another name for it. The moth has a wingspan of only around 10 centimeters, and its shadow makes it look like a bedtime fairy. Some people have commented saying they don't even see the fairy, that they don't know what people are talking about. I definitely see a fairy. Let me know what you guys see. This next video is rather incredible, as it shows a monkey captured on a trail cam. The incredible part isn't that it's a monkey on a trail cam, but the fact that the monkey was spotted in Tennessee, a state located in the southern part of the United States. And as I'm sure many can attest, there are no monkeys native to Tennessee, as the climate and available food sources don't support their species. These primates are more commonly found in rainforests and other countries across the world. Now, I'm assuming that this monkey is someone's pet that has hopefully just escaped for a brief time, and not the alternative. That someone let this monkey out into the woods and hope he survives because he got too big as a pet. We see this often with reptiles and other exotic animals in the state of Florida. Please let me know if you have any information on this monkey and the outcome, or if it did in fact turn out to be someone's pet. 
This isn't the first time we've seen an animal with a constricting tire around its neck. In one of my previous videos, we showed an elk with a tire around his. Thankfully, this next video has a happy ending just like the other one. As you can see, these sea lions were at a loss as to how to help their buddy, who was having trouble breathing due to the fact that a tire had become mistakenly trapped around its neck. Remarkably, the rescue team made up of bystanders sprung into action. They attached a hook to a piece of rope and carefully hooked it into the tire and pulled while the seal maneuvered his way out and took off into the company of his friends. This next camera capture starts in a very joyful way. Just a boy and his dog playing in their front yard. The boy and the dog both seem happy to be outside and burning off some energy. But in a matter of seconds, the entire video takes a turn. If you look across the street, you can see a dog that has gotten loose from its owners and is in a dead sprint for the six-year-old. But the boy's dog isn't having any of that. Just as quickly as the dog arrives, he's met with the heroics of the boy's dog. Even another dog joins in the fight too. The first dog blocks the initial attack by the black dog, then blocks him again when he tries to get to the boy, eventually runs him off into the driveway. As we watch it again, you can feel the fear from everyone. You can hear it in the neighbor's voice whose dog is on the attack. You can see it in the boy and on the mother's face as she runs to get her son. I don't know the outcome of this video other than that the boy is safe and his dogs are heroes. And I'm not sure what the liability looks like for a neighbor whose dog did something like this. Probably nothing since he didn't bite him. But I can imagine these two families won't be hanging out this weekend after this scare.